And now we're recording. Start us off, Craig. Good morning and welcome to Two Guys Talking About Lettuce. My name is Greg Benson. Hi. You told me to start it off. I know, but you I'm, took too long. Yeah. I, ga- I gave you like half a second and you didn't jump in that's there. Not, so That's not enough time. Y- you know what? Go ahead and start it now. Good morning and welcome to Two Guys Greg. Talking About Lettuce. Greg. My name is no, Greg no, Benson. No, no. Let's practice. Let's practice you pausing so that I have a chance to All start. All right. You got it. Okay. 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 But you no, you didn't do it. Start. Good morning. Welcome to, to two guys. To huh? No, no, that wasn't no, you I, practicing. I did. I, pa- I paused. No, I paused there for like three seconds. Yeah, but you, and have, you, to, didn't you take... have to pause after asking me to do something. Well, I, no. listen, I don't know all your yeah, rules, yeah. man. You got a lot of rules. I don't know all your rules. I'm just this basic conversation. I'm talking just about basic. I don't know what the rules of basic conversation are. I do a podcast. I don't do a conversation. Yeah, that is that is definitely true. A conversation uh, is two people talking to each other, right? And and with each other? Uh, yes. Or from each other. Is two people talking from each other? No, because I can't like project my voice out out of you. You that can would use be you can use my mouth to say the things that you want to say. No, I can't. I really can't. So I like, use your mouth to say things and you use my mouth. That's what a conversation is? No. No. Is that a would conversation be, that, where you write letters? It, I mean, in a way. Yeah. yeah. In a way, Just yes. random letters on a chalkboard? Yeah. Greg, I'm getting the feeling that you're unhinged today. <laughs> Are you un- unhinged? Here's how unhinged I am, and, and I'm, I'm going yeah. to go ahead and introduce myself to everybody. Hi, my, okay. everyone. All my right. name is Greg Benson. And what you don't know is that yeah. we started recording an episode, and we got about <laughs> seven and a half minutes into it, and it was so off the rails, I said to Craig, hey, should we stop recording and then just start all over again? And it's the first time that we actually did yeah. this. And that yeah. that seven and a half minute off the rail version is only going to be available uh, to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash two guys. Y- talking about lettuce. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That time you took yeah. the pause. I, I gave you the pause and you took it. Well, you actually gave a pause that time, yeah. but it, it was a weird time to pause because uh, you were in the middle of a URL. You know what so. another weird time okay. to pause is? Yeah. That. Yeah. That that was. That yeah. one is Yeah. strange time. Did we play the intro music? Did we? Uh... Yeah, I know it already played. Oh, it's oh, playing it again. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't expect that. Now you got you to take a note to remind yourself. I guess I, I, guess I do. I guess I, or, I guess I do. I'm talking yeah, about or lettuce. don't. Or don't at all. Lettuce. Well, I, just I don't feel, put it in. I, I'll put it in, but I think I'm it will stop abruptly. Lettuce. Okay. There you go. So I haven't seen you for like two and a half weeks, Greg. Has what, it been that long? I. Yeah. Yeah, I think it has, and I think we talked about this in the uh, rejected recording. We, we, uh, God, we I, just I felt like we did one right before I left town, but maybe we didn't. Uh, I left town. I went to Gen Con, which is a board game convention, really kind of a small little convention. I'm more of like a meetup with like about a dozen people. No, it's actually the largest board game convention in the United States of America. Not mm-hmm. a lot of people put the accent on of when they say United no. States yeah, of America. Yeah. Congratulations on your unique pronunciation. Yeah. Well, it's not States really pronunciation. I pronounce the, all the words the way other people do it. I just put okay. the accent on the word of. Con- congratulations on your unique inflection. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, it is a unique right. inflection. Yeah. Is unique uh, inflection the name of this episode? Because if so, that's a lousy yeah. title for this episode. S- speaking of unique inflection, I once knew a girl in college. I don't. I don't oh, know man. Name. Yeah. I remember her. Mm-hmm. She had a you, unique uh, inflection. We didn't go to college together. I know, but I knew the girl. I knew the okay. girl you're talking about. So the, how was Gen Con? How was Gen Con? It was a lot of fun. Uh, when I go to conventions to go and work and shoot videos, what I like to do is I like to go there. I like to shoot the videos as quickly as I can. Then I like to get the hell out of the convention. You know why? Because the convention's just filled with a bunch of people. Yeah. Uh, that's... That's a convention. That's the whole point of a convention. I so it doesn't know. sound many, like you like the convention. I don't care for conventions. You know why? There's too oh. many people there. Too okay. many people uh, walking around, looking at products, playing but you games. Said you had, yeah, but you said you had a good time. I had a great time with the friends that I went with because I I, I go with this uh, YouTube channel that I'm now shooting sketches for called uh, and and comedy videos. 
called uh, Above Board TV. This is not a plug for Above Board TV. But hey, everybody, okay. go ahead and subscribe to Above Board TV on YouTube, and you'll see some new sketches that I'm writing and directing and stuff. Greg, that is definitely a plug for. I'm Above no, Board I'm not. TV. I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not plugging it. I'm just saying everyone should go and subscribe to Above That's Board TV. That's what that because, is. That's what it is. That's yeah. what a plug is. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, well, you call it whatever you want, but all I'm saying okay. is I am now plugging Above Board TV, but this is okay. not a plug. I just want to point out this is not a plug. Okay. I am you plugging just said Above that you Board. are. You just, okay, you just I don't think you you're are. listening to what I'm saying. I think, no, I, think I don't think you're, you're listening to what you're saying. <laughs> I think you're paying attention to the words and not what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so. Your, the words are the win. Uh, it's the window to the soul. Greg. Okay. I I, well, I, a lot yeah. of people say, Einstein said that. I remember Einstein yeah. always said that. Did he? Do you know who Einstein is? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Bob Einstein. He was terrific. Okay. Okay, who's Bob Einstein? Who's Bob Einstein? He was Super Dave Osborne. Ah, oh, okay. He, he was. He's also the brother of Albert Einstein. The brother of Albert Einstein. He's Albert Einstein's brother. Do you know who Albert Einstein is? Yes, I do know who Albert Einstein is. Who's Albert that's Einstein? Who I, what, what's Albert that. Einstein's best movie? Uh, probably. Uh, wasn't there? Didn't Walter Matthau play Einstein in a movie? No. What's Albert Einstein's best movie? Answer the question. Oh my God, he wasn't an actor or a director or okay. a filmmaker. Yes, he was. His best movie okay. was Defending Your Life, and he went under the name Albert Brooks. I can't believe mm. you don't know these mm. things. I can't no. believe you don't know that Super Dave Osborne and Albert Brooks are brothers, and their real last name is Einstein. I didn't know that actually. I think right. I did know that they were brothers actually. But yeah, Super Dave Osborne. I'm he was great. Him up he right he now. passed away a couple years ago. It was, I was, yeah. That was a guy I was sad to lose because he was so damn funny. He was really, he was really, really funny. He was on Curb Your Enthusiasm a I, lot, I know. I loved him on Curb. He was great yeah. on that show. He didn't do a lot of stunts on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Thank goodness. You know what he did? Jokes. <laughs> he sure did. He did jokes. He, I just remember from the 90s just seeing his Yeah, his, 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 his show was stunts. pretty His show was pretty special. I enjoyed his show. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, but really, like on Curb, I feel like he did some of his best work. He was just so damn funny. He was. Anyway, speaking of uh, Albert Einstein. I met Albert Einstein the, once. Have you seen the movie Oppenheimer? I have not seen the movie Oppenheimer. I thought it was hmm. really good. Okay. What 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 about it was good? I just I just think it's like a really well-made movie, you know? Why, why would you think that? You haven't seen it. I know. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched it, but I just like... Christopher Nolan makes really good movies. I just I just well, refuse to see them because I don't like the sound mix. Okay. Yeah. I find I what? find his dialogue is too quiet and then all the action well, and, and music sequences are too loud. So I just don't like the sound mix and that's uh, that's an honest thing. That's why I I I haven't seen his last couple of movies. Well, Tenet is really mixed terribly. Yeah. And I didn't like I didn't really like that movie. I don't like every movie he makes. This one was maybe my favorite of his. Although you liked it. Occasionally, it, you are like, huh? Eh? What are they saying? Huh? Eh? 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 Because he doesn't do ADR, Greg. Do you know? Do you know what ADR is? Greg? Yes, it's automatic dialogue rectum. What does that mean? What would that be? What would automatic dialogue rectum be? Automatic dialogue I'm, I'm rectum. Not... What the hell are you talking about? No, no. So I said automatic dialogue replacement. Did you think I said oh, rectum? I did think that. Okay, yeah. no, you, it did you definitely misheard sound me. like. No. Well, it definitely sound sounded like that. It did not. You rewind the tape and you'll hear I said automatic dialogue replacement. I'm, t- I'm listen. Well, listen, <laughs> I, I feel, I feel like you you're not paying attention. Are you going to actually ADR that moment where you where you said automatic dialogue <laughs> rectum? Wouldn't that be hilarious if it's just all of a sudden there's just a woman, there's a woman's yes. voice? Do it. Have Kim do it. Yeah. It'll be hilarious. That's and just, now we're explaining it. That's, but yeah. That's too much work. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're okay. Don't do it then. That's just Maybe too you much actually work. Maybe you actually did say automatic dialogue replacement earlier. I did say that. Okay. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know why I, w- why I was thinking rectum. I really yeah. don't know. No, it's weird. Mm-hmm. That is weird that you that you thought that. Mm-hmm. Well, he doesn't do ADR, Greg. He does. He he decide he wants to keep the performance pure in the moment, and that's why sometimes you don't hear it. I feel like, you know, actors are very good at ADR. And I feel like yeah. they can nail it because mm-hmm. it because they do it in every other movie. 
So I yes. feel it's more important to actually hear what what the actors are saying. I, you know, I, I generally agree with you on that. Yeah, I like to. I, yeah. I feel like dialogue is important in movies that have it. Some movies don't have it. Yeah, yeah. Some movie, yeah, especially silent movies. No, silent yeah. movies. They really didn't have it. They had words on the screen. Yeah, but, I but who don't wants know. to read a movie? You know. Yeah, I watch movies because I can't read. Oh, interesting. Sometimes yeah. I watch movies with subtitles in the middle of the night when I can't sleep because the mm -hmm. reading helps to put me back to sleep. Yeah, you could. You know, there's another thing you could try: books. Boogies. <laughs> what? What did you just Why say? Did you, you added a syllable to what I said. <laughs> you just. I. I swear you said boogies. What is that? No, I said. What, where did the e's sound okay. come All right, from? Say it I again. said books. I said Bro books. Brooks. Unless you ADR'd something over what Brooks. I just said. Brooks. Okay. But, no, no books. Brooks. Not. No, we were talking about Albert Brooks earlier, but no. Okay. Books. Bix. Got it. Bix? Did you just say Bix? <laughs> I thought that's what you said. No, no. So I should try Bix. No. Uh, it, You're books. just say say it again so I say it slowly so I can get it. Cramps. You started okay. saying cram before I even started. No, you started just, first. I was watching your. You I was watching you your mouth. First. Look, I don't. I don't know all these weird words you're using. I don't know so what you're trying to even say. Even if you were watching my mouth, my mouth was clearly going to make a B sound and not a cr sound. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So I don't know what this is that you're referring to, but I'm going to try some of this crams, but and okay, and I, and I think it's I th I I don't know. I look forward to it. So that has words in okay. it too. Books have words. In fact, that <laughs> they they are all words. What the hell are all you words. saying? What are you saying? All right, man. I I think you're just messing uh, with me. Uh, no. I mean a little bit, but no. All right. Well, look. Uh, I, I, we're we're 12 minutes into the podcast and we haven't done our important announcements and I know we do have some important announcements so Craig go ahead and take it away with our important announcements there is a recall of some prepackaged salad because they found deer feces in it oh no so, you know yeah. what it, you know it's weird every time I write a letter to feces that's how I always start the letter yeah deer feces <laughs> yes. yeah Dear feces, Who's, hope no, you're no, no, well. Wait. Thinking you of you. The, are you writing the letter to someone named feces, or are you writing the letter to actual feces? To actual feces. I don't think anybody has the name feces. That would be ridiculous. What's your? You know what's what else your would be ridiculous? Your, what, writing a letter to feces. That's ridiculous. What do you want to name your your daughter, Mister Jackson? I want to name her feces. Feces Jackson. It's a ridiculous yeah. name. It, it's pretty ridiculous. I can't believe I, Mr. Both. Jackson named his daughter Feces. Yeah, in this hypothetical scenario, that is incredible. Yeah, that. that Do you know Mr. out there Jackson. there is there is probably a woman with the name Syphilis, spelled like syphilis. Why do you think that? Because probably someone thought that was a pretty name, and like I want to name my daughter Syphilis, and so they Syphilis? spelled it out, and the doctor's like, "Are you sure you want to name your daughter this?" And they're like, "Yes, yeah, Syphilis. It's a very pretty name." And then she uh -huh. goes through the rest of her life like, uh, Syphilis Williams? Is there a Syphilis Williams here? And she's like, it's Syphilis. And then you people are like, actually, no, it's Syphilis. I don't think this happened, Greg. I don't think anyone named the kid I Syphilis. would put money on it that there is someone out there named Syphilis. How much money? I'd put $114 on it. Spelled, spelled the same way spelled as Spelled just like Syphilis. syphilis. I, I would bet $114. Uh, I will bet you $114. You'll bet me $114? Yes. And we have we'll we'll have to set a time mm. limit for how how long it will take to find Cephilus. What are you doing? What are you writing? I'm I'm, I'm googling it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I found a baby named Chlamydia. Let's see. <laughs> uh I'm okay, hang uh -huh. on. Uh-huh. Parents yeah. share. We, the we worst never baby. shook hands. We never signed a contract, Greg. We got to make this official. $114. No, no, no. no it counts. Okay. okay. Oh, you know what? You're right. We never shook hands. <laughs> well, because you can't find it. 
can't really find. I didn't expect. I didn't expect we were going to do this right now. I'm I'm looking right but, now. There's a woman. Yeah. yeah. A woman wants chlamydia to be renamed as an STI because she'd love to use it as a baby name. I mean, that is okay. a really that is a really pretty name, chlamydia. Is that for real? Someone wants that? Yeah, that's a, that's the thing that I just I just found. Uh, or did syph- you just syphilis make up? is a bacterial infection typically typically spread by sexual contact. Have you ever yeah, had, yeah. Have you ever had sexual contact? Uh, Greg, you're changing the subject. Um, yeah, but you're right. That chlamydia story is it, storia is real. Yeah, apparently huh. it is. Hmm. So well, anyway, um. Yeah. Anyway, so I, listen. Let's just assume I'm right, and you owe me 114 dollars. Let's just let's just assume. No, because no, no. The, the odds are so good that I'm right that it's it would be silly not to assume that. So anyway, just go, Why? Ahead, and, go ahead and Venmo me that 114. That's not bucks. how. That's not how uh, being right it works. I think that's it is. That's not how it works. I mean, maybe no. you're, maybe you're wrong about that. Maybe you owe me another 114. Now you owe me 228 dollars. Uh, why? Why? I never I, agreed. I'm to, just saying that's how it works. By the way, you haven't mentioned my yeah. cap. We, you mentioned my cap in, in the first time we started recording, but not this time. Uh, and no, I'll, I actually didn't. I didn't <clears throat> mention your yeah. cap the first time. Yeah, you mentioned like, it. You were like, "Hey, yeah. great cap! Tell me about that, and where can I watch that live no, stream?" That's what you said no, no, before. This, no, that's this, this exchange we're having right now is pretty much the exact one we had before, where yeah. you accused. You pretended that I mentioned your cap. Yeah, you said you said, "Hey, that's a great cap." Was that say bad movies live? And In I was fact, like, "Yeah, bad I movies live." Never, I will never mention a hat again on this podcast ever. I, I seriously doubt. I bet you another hundred and fourteen dollars that you mention a hat again at some point in the next seven hundred episodes. In the next seven hundred, you think? Next seven hundred episodes, I think you're going to do it. Uh you're on. How many? You're on. How many uh, episodes do you think we've done so far? Do you know? 60 something? I'm going to look it up. 70 something? Uh apparently what we are recording right now is episode 67. Aha, uh-huh. so I was right. Our last episode was recorded or at least was edited, I should say, August 1st. That's probably the day that we recorded it. And today is August 11th, so it's only been 10 days. You said days. it was you said it was two and a half weeks. Turns out it was a week and a half. Okay. Whatever. So, so you're wrong whatever. and you owe me another hundred and fourteen bucks. No, Greg. Just being inaccurate does not mean I owe you money. Craig, we made a bet. We ma- oh now now that well, you're what? now that you're disputing it, that's another hundred and fourteen bucks. You're gonna owe me what? so much money. What, what what disputing your lies it makes me owe you money? <laughs> it's we made a bet. And now you're trying to renege on it. Don't renege. No. Don't renege. No, Greg, Greg, I'm not. We, we never made a bet. Look, Richard Thompson said it best in a song. He said, don't renege on our love. And and I, and I don't think that yeah. you should. By the way, by the way, Bad Movies Live, the cap that I'm wearing right now, because we have, we have oh. hats now. Uh, oh, my God. It, it airs on twitch.tv slash mediocre films every oh Friday at God. 6 Pacific and Sunday at 5 Pacific. We watch bad movies with special Greg, guests. Greg, it's at this point in the podcast where people are wondering, why do I listen to uh, one long commercial as a podcast? Why do I do be, that? You know what? Because they're excited for the announcement that you are going to be my guest this coming Sunday at 5 Pacific. I am? Yeah. Are you available? Mm. <laughs> no, I don't think I am. Actually. You're not? Yeah. You Here's here's Craig like three months ago. Hey, whenever you whenever someone drops out and you need like a last minute replacement, you need me at the last minute. Just let, just ask because I'm I'm always available. And then like the last three four times I've asked Craig, he's like, nah, nah not a not available to do that. No, I, I actually think it was more than three months ago. I think that was like over a year ago. Yeah, it was like a year or, or like five six or years two. ago. I wasn't even doing these been. streams back then. And yeah. you were like, whenever you start doing them. Call me up last yeah. second. I'm always available. I says I w- He yeah. said I will be available to you at a moment's notice. I'll give you first priority. And, and this you, is you even, not. This you is even not said, what I said. You even said if I if you ask me and I'm not available, I will pay you 114. dollars And I was like, that's really wow. nice. That's very considerate of you. And an oddly specific number. Of, it it of is. Dollars. I guess that's just yeah. the amount that you like to that you like to bet. Yeah. So if you haven't <laughs> guessed already, folks. 
Greg is full of lies. He is hmm. completely untrustworthy. Hmm. Don't believe anything he says. Hmm. And half of what he does. It's don't weird. believe it. It's very yeah. strange. Okay. What's strange? I mean, it's weird that you would say that. I mean, I mean, I feel like you're insulting me. I'm not. No, I'm just I'm trying to. I'm just, I'm just trying to be accurate. That's all. Okay. That's all. All right. I just feel like yeah. it's a weird thing for a friend to do. I feel like it's very insulting, and I'm just I'm just trying to be here and have a conversation with you. A conversation where it I sounds say words, like you're trying to mm-hmm. bilk me out of 114 dollars. Occasionally. Okay, first of all, it's pronounced yeah. milk, and it's a drink, okay. and it has nothing to do with money. It's from cows. Okay. okay. All right. You, that was quite a tangent on a word I didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you didn't say it. That's why I was yeah. correcting you. If you said it, then I wouldn't have to correct you. Okay, I understand. Well, bilk also works in this in this instance. Okay. 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 Hey, Craig, how's your last week and a half been? Been pretty good. Let me look at my calendar and see what I actually did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tell us what you did. Yeah. This is exciting. Yeah. I'm so excited to hear what you did. I uh, <clears throat> I worked on videos. Yeah. And I, China and I are in a bag toss league. Whoa, a bag toss league. That's mm-hmm. pretty good. What do you what do you what do you do? You uh you just you you just scoot like these little pucks across the ground. Uh, what does that have to do with bags? I'm just like it sounds like a sport. Like you're doing a sport thing. Like you have this like a long stick and you just push these pucks and they go across uh, the ground and there's some sort of like scoring uh, system. Why would you autom- automatically go to hockey when I said bag toss? I'm just saying like I don't know what you're doing. What are you are you on skates? You on skates? You're on like an ice <laughs> rink. No, it's like you're really trying to make me be a hockey player. Like okay. you really want look, me to I, be. Look, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what bag toss is, but it sounds to yeah. me like you're describing hockey. I like didn't you even describe you it. The, I just said you mentioned the puck. You mentioned toss. the stick. You mentioned no, no. an ice rink. I mean, it sounds to me like it's ice hockey. You're having trouble remembering. You're having trouble discerning what you say and think with what the people around you say and think. You're okay. having trouble with that. All right, like, I don't. You're, you're I maybe you're maybe you're ha- maybe you're having trouble with that. Did you ever think of that? You're doing it again. You're projecting. <laughs> you're you're projecting. And now it's time for the Patreon only bonus section, which starts when you hear the chicken sound. Okay, are we going to hear the chicken ah! sound? Or- this portion of two guys talking about lettuce has been edited out for your listening inconvenience. If you wish to hear the complete, unedited version with the bonus talking, be sure to visit patreon.com slash two guys talking about lettuce. And now, back to the edited, not as good version of the podcast. the end of the patreon bonus section wow you always surprise me when you do that yes i do and we had quite a good conversation didn't we craig uh yeah greg we had a great time uh i mean you know you you said some outrageous things that weren't exactly (laughs) true but okay if that's what you like to do (laughs) Oh, oh craig uh i i i don't i don't know why you would accuse me of that why would you accuse me of saying outrageous things because that's what you always do i'm trying to have a an actual conversation and then you turn things around and you say these outrageous things and then when i point out that you've said something outrageous you always try to turn that around on me and you're like maybe you're outraged you see like like the thing you just it just keeps escalating oh, the, the thing, or, 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 that's what you sound like right now <laughs> oh uh, 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 uh. Why do you uh, always do that? I'm just trying to speak, and I ca- I can't make a verbal flub without you pointing it out, Greg. I, I uh, it's like I can't verbal. say anything with you. It's like everything that I say is wrong. <laughs> oh man, everything I say is wrong. Speaking of, uh, I knew a girl in college. I okay. You always say that how you knew it. I- I'm starting to think that yeah. you didn't know any girls in college. Uh, I knew I knew some girls in college. Yeah, I knew some girls. What yeah. what were their what were their names? 
Uh, well, now okay, watch. So. Now watch. Greg's going to say he's going to make up words that aren't even names. Go ahead. What, what were their uh, names? Chlamydia Jackson <laughs> and uh, syphilis uh, Crampton. <laughs> okay. I feel like you're just yeah. trying to win that bet because you want to get that hundred and fourteen dollars from me. What? But I never <laughs> made. I never made that bet with you, Greg. And I am, you know, and I'm going to refuse to pay denying it. Denying the bet. That means you owe me another $114. Let me write that down. You can't just, it doesn't matter if you write it down or not. You cannot just make up rules and, and, and because that's, that's your MO. That's what you always do. There's nothing uh, uh, that I can do that just sits well with you. You I don't always know have what to the make a big deal. three stooges have to do with this. You, you mentioned like where, MO. Where Mo, did the three, my favorite three no. stooges. Three, no, my favorite I, stooge. I can't say a oh. word. I can't say anything without you making a big deal over it. <laughs> oh, Craig. Oh, we're friends. I just like being friends with you. I know. Just, I, I like being yeah. friends with you, Greg, even though I will tell uh, you that having a conversation with you is exhausting. <laughs> <sighs> that was the longest silence we've had on an episode just now i don't think it and was because of that you owe me 114 dollars. <laughs> okay well again greg i i didn't make a bet and i'm not going to pay you any money you're not going to get any money from me speaking of money yeah. how much do you have how much money do you have <laughs> well that's not really any of your concern and that and that's how, private it's not something that uh, i would share on this podcast how much money no i come on come on it's okay i won't tell anybody come on just whisper it just whisper it just whisper it into the microphone see here's the thing even when you get up closer yeah. to the microphone like that and you're talking quietly we can actually hear you better and everyone uh -huh. else is listening so i'm not going to tell you private information why, why come don't on, you just tell greg me. greg why don't you tell me what your passwords are why don't you tell me your paypal and your venmo password okay my my paypal password is password okay my venmo password is one 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 yeah one one i don't the think the pause that's... was for an ellipses the okay. pause was there was an ellipses in the password. okay i don't believe that these are your uh, passwords I, I, and and i no one has those passwords and if you do if you do greg oh, then you really should people change... have password as their password no if they if you do then you should change your passwords immediately because you're just asking for it you know what you, you know what you're doing Password shaming. You are password shaming right now. I'm just trying to and, tell you that if I you want to be I, safe, I don't want to take it. I don't want. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know if uh, we can continue this conversation. I'm. I'm offended. Personally, I'm offended. I think you should apologize. I think you should apologize. <laughs> apologize? What? Are you, I yeah. am not going to yeah. apologize. You. You. You have to apologize. But I did uh, not password shame. I'm trying to protect you. Don't uh, you see, Greg? Mm, I'm trying to protect you. No. No. Now you're backpedaling. Now you're backpedaling. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay. All right. Fine. I apologize uh, to our listeners for password shaming Greg. Yes. I did not mean to do that. And I will pay him $114. I am not going to pay you $114. Okay. $115. Fine. Whatever, you, whatever amount you want, Greg. Whatever uh, amount. Oh, what did you just call me? You called me Greg. Oh, I sorry. You sorry. did. But, oh, uh, now the whole jig is up. You see, uh, what, what happened, uh, folks, is Craig and I switched places. Did you notice after we came back from the thing? We switched places. He was being me, and I was being him. And I got to tell you something. You're very it was good. Ex it you're was very, exhausting You're, you're being very you. good at it, Craig, but. You were good at being me. Yeah, but I think that you're better at being you, and I'm better at being me. I'm pretty good at being me. It, it kind of comes naturally. Yeah, yeah, you really do do that naturally. Yeah, I do. Man, all right. You know what? Just for that, you owe me another hundred and fourteen dollars. Uh, uh, <laughs> and that's the end of the hundred and fourteen dollars section. That's the end. I of, hope so. That's the end of references to hundred and fourteen dollars. Uh, Man, okay, I love it. I love it. That was entertaining. I was. That was. I was yeah. I was wholly entertained. That was really fun, actually, but I didn't know how long, much longer I could I could keep that going. Being right, you is exhausting, let's, Greg. It's let's exhausting. Talk about, I know. It is exhausting being me. Listen, how do you think uh, I feel? Every single day, I, I wake up, I look in the yeah. mirror. The first thing when I wake up, I go over to like, wash my face, and I wash my face, and I look up, and then I, and then I just see wet Greg Benson face, and I'm like, yeah. ugh, this guy? That's really? Ev every morning, I'm like, ugh. I gotta be Greg, this guy should, again. You got. You gotta. You should practice positive affirmations in the mirror. Okay. Because it sounds like you're. You're. 
there's a little bit too much self-loathing going on here. It's not self-loathing. It's just more of like a, uh, uh, enough already. That is self-loathing. I don't think it's self-loathing. It's just, it's just, I'm just, I'm tired of it. Just, just tired of it. Yeah, that's not great. That's not a great situation. Do you ever get tired of being Greg Benson? Sometimes I do. I, I actually a little while ago I did I did get uh, hey, tired of being. You're Greg probably Benson. like how how many more minutes do I have to do? We probably did that for like five minutes. Wow, you were me for kept, five minutes. I can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. I'm just sorry that you didn't plug my Twitch channel. Oh God, I should have. I that would have been a good bit, but yeah. then that would have just been more advertisements on this. Yeah, this podcast. Because I'm not going to plug like my any, any of my stuff like youtube.com slash wheezy waiter. I'm sorry, youtube.com slash what? Wheezy waiter. Wheezy waiter? What is that supposed to mean? It's my, it's been my handle for 16 years almost. Handle? Yeah. Handle. Yeah. You have a handle. Yes. Okay. Great. Glad we could clarify that. I have asthma, and I used to be a waiter. Oh, and you you wheeze like a like a like someone with asthma. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, listen, you and I have a lot in common, but we don't have those things. I don't have asthma. And I've never been a waiter. No, but we do have those things in common. Oh, you're right. I I do have yeah. asthma, and I did used to be a waiter. And we're both allergic to almonds. That's true. Let me ask you something, Craig. Have you ever been fired from a job? Um. Well, a job went out of business, and I I lost my job, but I wasn't technically fired. Never fired. See, that's that is something yeah. that you and I do not have in common. I have been fired from most of the jobs that I've had, and I've mm-hmm. even been fired from from like an uh, an improv company that I was paying them. This is like the opposite of a job. <laughs> they didn't want my money anymore. I was too yeah. disruptive to the group, and they're like, "Wow!" And they're like, "Greg, you're just." You're just too disruptive. You know, I can't Im- being on this podcast with you. I can't imagine. Isn't that can't weird? I know it's it, it is hard to fathom. Yeah, is that the first uh, time I've used the word fathom on this podcast? If so, I'm yeah, really excited it, about it. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. It's certainly possible you used the word fathom before. Well, I can't why, fathom an opportunity when I would use think, it again. Are you just not a good employee, Greg? Why were you fired so many times? I'm not a good employee. I'm you uh, know you know why I'm not good uh, with authority figures. And that's actually yeah. I'm being totally true with you. I honest, I eh. just don't do well with authority figures. I don't like being told what to do. And it turns out that most jobs you get people people above you and I use above with air quotes, um yeah. they like to tell you what to do. They really do. That's uh, actually their job. So I mean, well, they act uh, like it's their job because it is their job. If yeah, they're above you, if and they're, they're all like, boss, "Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm more important than you, so go do this." Why don't you go? Well, clean they might the- not necessarily think they're more important than you. Yeah, it, they, they might, but it is also their job to tell you what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, "Why uh, don't you go clean the toilets?" And I'm like, "I'm not a janitor." And they were like, "Actually, you are the janitor here." And I'd be like, yeah. "Oh, well, I quit." And they okay. say you can't quit. You're fired, and that's okay. usually how it goes. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you are an actor, yeah. And people are literally telling you everything to do on on camera. Like you're, you know, I feel like a director doesn't tell you what to do. They merely yeah. direct you. And I'm I'm good at yeah. taking direction. I'm just not good at taking orders. Okay. Yeah. Some directors, I'm sure, are a little more uh, demanding than others. Yeah, some directors are dicks for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. mean, look, I, I, I did a movie yeah. one time a year ago, and I won't tell you uh, the name of the movie or the name of the director because I don't remember the name of the director. But he, okay. was, a, he was a real dick. And, and yeah. he said at the beginning of, this, of, of the scene, my character is having a conversation with another character at a lunch table. And they're like, just improv, just ad lib a few lines before you get into the dialogue. And mm-hmm. so we were, we were ad libbing things. And I, uh, 
and and I think I responded to something that the other character said was like, and I just said like, I know, yeah, you know, or just something kind of generic. And he went, cut. He's like, N- look, there are no I knows in this movie. There are no you know. I'm like, I don't know your fucking rules with ad lib. <laughs> so why don't you just tell me what you want me to say so I don't say the wrong words. <laughs> but it was a real dick move. Like, you know. Yeah. That was a dick just move. improv. Do you yeah, know what that's not, Do you know what else is a real he was, dick? He was he was being he was saying no but and not yes and. Yeah, not yes mm-hmm. and. I mean, look, yeah. I, I'll I'll give him this. Sure, it was probably lousy ad libbing that I was doing, but yes. still, that was a dick move. Do you know what else is a real dick move? Getting an erection. Yeah, I was. I my my brain was already going there because yeah. you said dick move so many times. Well, you're always thinking about yeah. erections. No, I'm not actually. You're, your brain's going there right now. You're thinking about an erection right now, aren't you? Well, You're getting a mental real... a mental image of an erection right now. I wasn't. I but I uh, I was you, thinking about the word until but, you just started. But now you are. Now you have a mental image of a penis now getting a lot erect. Of people do. Now a lot of people and do. And it's yeah. not even your penis. It's a black penis. And I don't know why <laughs> okay. you're thinking about that. You have a mental image right now okay, that's of an enough. enormous black penis. <laughs> and I don't understand uh, why. We're just, we're trying to do a podcast Why did you, here. what do you mean you don't understand? You're the one who brought it up. You're, if because anyone understands, it's because it's, it's in your mind. It's in your no, no. mind. You're you thinking can't. of it. No, 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 Greg, you can't. You don't know what's in my mind. Well, are, I do now because you've just. What you're said doing it. is you're 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 performing an inception. You're you're, you're incepting <laughs> into right. my mind. But you're just yeah. you just use that word because we talked about Christopher Nolan earlier. Yeah, I brought it back. That's yeah. what I do. I don't remember what we talked about in this podcast or in the seven minute podcast that we yeah. abandoned. Yeah, I'm having trouble remembering if Christopher Nolan was in this one or that one. I think it was in this one. Though. I think so, it was. Yeah. This is why we, we can't abandon our podcasts. Maybe the title of this podcast should be We May or May Not Talk About Christopher Nolan. That way... That is a... Yeah, that is a okay title, but we clearly have a better uh, thing we could reference in the title, which is that we impersonated each other. That, okay, now I a, thought you were going to say something about the big black penis. No. No, I, that's all. I know that's... You want to stay. You want to stay on that. I know, but uh, uh, no, Greg. We impersonated each other. I feel like the people who listen to this regularly or occasionally would more likely listen if yeah. we reference that in the title. Yeah, we did so, an impersonation of each other. Or now that I think about it and say it out loud, maybe that is a terrible, a terrible title. You're right. Let's call it um, uh, Christopher Nolan's. Big black, black penis. penis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah Speaking yeah. of big black penis, um, yeah. One one time, I I <clears throat> went, actually where I met Kim, uh, and it's weird to talk about big black penis and then okay. say my or, wife's name, okay. my wife. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. but we met at the Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood, which no longer exists in Hollywood. It's a it's yeah. an improv and sketch comedy theater, and we had a great time there. And we wrote we did all these shows, wrote sketches, and did all these shows. Uh, and one time they decided to do a midnight show. Uh, for all the really inappropriate sketches, it was a it was an an R rated midnight sketch comedy show for all the inappropriate stuff, and mm-hmm. there was one sketch that I was cast in that I did not write, um, uh, which I believe was called Leave It to Beaver, uh, and the only difference uh, between the show and the sketch was that in the sketch, uh, Beaver was uh, uh, was was a, a person who had an e- enormous vagina for a head. That's leave it to Beaver, <laughs> and then mm-hmm. and then I playing Wally. Uh, at, by the end of the sketch, uh, pull out my erection from my pants. Okay. Oh and, my god. And like I'm like I'm going to like and it fades out like right before I'm going to have sex with Beaver. Now, uh, since I had to pull up my penis out of my pants, I didn't want for the audience. Um, I didn't want for the you audience. You actually had to do that. Yeah. You so I didn't want for the audience to think that it was my actual dick that I was pulling out of my pants because that's going too far. So so for a prop, I got a big black dildo. And when I unzipped my pants, I pulled out a black penis out of my pants. And then from that point on, everyone always refer- referred to me as, you know, the guy with, with the big black penis. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And they still do. Wow. 
They're like, yeah. I'm just. I mean, I've never, I've never heard that. I've never heard that. It's in very, to you. it's very common. People, people okay. talk about it a lot. By the way, I want to, I want to just make an announcement. This particular episode is not suitable for children. Yeah, uh, a little late, a little bit late. On that well, do you know why I waited? Because I didn't want to do, a, I didn't want to spoil it. People hate spoilers. Sure. We probably, we might actually <laughs> should put that at the beginning. Yeah, this this yeah. episode is not safe for work because not only do yeah. I talk about my big black penis, but also it has the c word in it, uh, and, and that is an offensive word to a lot of people. The c word. The c word. Craig. Or, nope. Uh, nope. No, it's um, a it's a dirty word. The c word. Uh, yeah, it's in this episode. Yeah, it is. Where I don't. I. It's do... hidden. It's hidden in the episode. Okay. And you have to go back and listen with headphones because it's uh-huh. whispered very quietly somewhere in this episode. Huh. That's very weird because I that, I don't remember hearing that. I don't remember seeing you do that. Uh, well, it'll be added later. Oh, <laughs> no. How about we just don't? How about we just don't do that? <laughs> you never know. You never know when it's going to happen. It could happen at any point. It might have already That's happened. Like, I mean that's really going out of your way to to put that in there. That's uh, it's just the way yeah. it goes. That's just what happens. Okay. And the uh, weird and the weird thing is, it's not even me. It's your voice. You're the one who you're the one who whispers it. No, I I would not I would not do that. Well, maybe it's an AI version of your voice. What I did was okay. I captured I captured your voice from all the previous episodes, and I created yeah. an AI Craig, and I can make yeah. him say whatever I want him to say. Wow. Uh, that's, uh, very, uh, that makes me uncomfortable. And, uh, this entire episode makes me uncomfortable. So, um, you know what? Let's scrap this one and do another one. Another episode. I'd agree to that. Okay. I'd, I'd agree. I mean, we're only 43 and a half minutes into this one, so it's not like we've wasted a whole lot of time. All right. So this is the rejected episode. This is the, uh, I feel like we're going to release this though. I feel like yeah. it's I feel like it's been released and people are listening to it right now. Well, that's definitely not true because we're recording it right now. Oh yeah. 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 But I feel like it's already been released. Um speaking of already been released, I knew this girl in college. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Tell me more um, about her. She uh well, What she was, was her jail. name? She was in jail and then she they re- they released her. Oh yeah, what what's her yeah. name? Uh, Susan. Susan, and why was why was Susan in jail? What did she do? Uh, well, she just wasn't nice. She just wait, wasn't wait, wait, very wait. nice. They can put you in jail for not being nice. For, they put her in jail for it. I better yeah. start being nicer. Oh, she also uh, murdered a bunch of uh, children. So okay, okay, uh, no, that, no, that's yeah. horrible. I feel like that's yeah. I feel like that's the reason. Why she was in jail? Well, I don't. I don't know. I'm not the. I don't. I'm not the judge. I don't. I, wait, I, oh, wait, I slipped into being you again. I'm you, sorry. I was you, being Greg. You for really a while. did. You really did. Yeah. And then I. And then all of a sudden, I was you. It's yeah. hard. It's hard because yeah. I don't know who we are anymore. No, we've been doing this for far too long. Man, mm-hmm. I want to just point out that this is the first episode when I have not prepared a damn thing. I've been out of town at Gen Con. I've been uh, in Indianapolis. And then after in Indianapolis, I drove uh, north three hours to Michigan for a couple of days. And by the way, Michigan's beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh, man. Michigan is just lovely. I had a nice time up there. Were you by the lake? I did go over to St. Joseph. And uh, we did we did give Charlie like an hour at the beach. Because they have a uh-huh. beach at the lake. And it looks like an ocean, except it's it calmer does. and cleaner. You can't You can't even see across it. It's no, so, you it's, can't. It's, it's, it's so a great huge. lake. It, it is, is a great, great lake. Yeah. yeah. And, and I was like, you know what? They're right. This lake is great. Yeah. And it, you know what? The, it's also on, it, it borders Wisconsin, but they call it Lake Michigan, which I find to be bullshit. You know, but what, what are you going to call it? Lake Wisconsin? I guess that does sound worse. That sounds, does, that sounds horrible. Because I wouldn't say horrible. It no, sounds no, awful no. because Wisconsin is a state. It's got all these cities in it. So just give it like a made up name. Like call it Lake Michigan, you know? Yeah, but that you were in the state with... of you were in the state of Michigan. Oh, right. It's the same <laughs> that's the mm-hmm. same word. Right. I forgot mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. And still, still, Lake Michigan's a better name. Mm, it is actually. Yeah. 
you know, there's a big uh, uh, rivalry, a big uh, argument between Michiganers and Wisconsiners about which state looks like a hand. Really? Or, or a mitten. Yeah. Because they actually both do. Do they? But when, but people, when people from Wisconsin say that their state looks like a hand, people from Michigan, they just seem to get mad. They're just like, no, we're the state that looks like a hand. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When when the truth is, it's California mm. that looks like a hand. I mean, I've lived in California. Yeah, what kind of hand are we talking about here? Like a, 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 a boomerang hand? Severely deformed hand. Okay. California sure. is the state that everyone knows is shaped like a severely deformed hand. I mean, you could say that about any any uh, area, really. Yeah, yeah. Most, yeah. most states. Most areas. Most sta- except Montana. But besides Montana, okay. most states look like a severely deformed Wait, hand. Why does my why does Montana not eh, look like it's not very really? hand like? Even even deformed, it's not very hand like. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah. what about Kansas? Kansas, absolutely, very hand like. Basically, a rectangle. Why why yeah. is it? But it's a Kansas shaped rectangle, which is different okay. than a Montana shaped rectangle. Very different rectangles. Okay, okay. I un- I understand. Um, we should do a ge- geography podcast. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at geography. Name any place in the world. Go ahead. France. See, that's correct. That's how good I am at geography. Yeah. Like you could name any place in the world. N- name another one. I, um, uh, let's Egypt. say Egypt. Egypt. Right. Okay, Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Egypt. So yeah. I, it's, I'm just glad Abu that Dhabi. We, Abu yeah, Dhabi. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So that's how good I am with geography. You what? Know? Just naming things? It's a very and positive experience, you know? I don't get name. I don't get negative when it comes to geography. Like a lot of times people will be like, "Oh, oh, uh, Ireland," and they're going to be like, "Nah. No. 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 Not Ireland." Yeah. But yeah, Ireland, yeah. absolutely. That's what I'm saying. 100% Ireland. What? What about it? Mhm. Yes. Very it's positive. Very... Okay, there's a there's a point at which you know when you're being very positive mm-hmm. that it's just nonsense. Yes, that it's just. I agree. That's completely. not necessarily positive. That's I agree just nonsense. completely. You know what? That's what makes us friends because of the positivity. Okay, but that's I'm. Yes, we're not talking about that at all. Yes, you're just you're being pathologically positive. Right oh now man! What you're doing. Woo! Yeah. Yes, you're being. There's a, it's like a psychosis. There's I'll tell you what, here, of, I'll, I'll, then I'll give yeah. you something. I will give you something positive. I'll say something positive about yeah. Ireland because I have been to Ireland. It is a beautiful country. It is. Uh, and, and I will say that Ireland positively had the worst food I've ever had in any country I've ever been to. Ah, that's not positive. I that's said a, the word positively before I said a fact about it. But in that sense, the word positive just meant you were sure, you were certain. I understand the food's yeah. gotten a lot better though, because my brother recently went to Dublin and he said he had he went to great restaurants and had a lot of good food in Dublin. I've I've been to Ireland. We had good food there. Yeah. But, see. Yeah. See. Yeah. Where did what 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 did you have that was so terrible? I feel a lot of stew, a lot of a lot of very watery, tasteless stew. Well, you probably shouldn't have gone to all the watery, tasteless stew restaurants. I kept going. Yeah, I just I just kept ordering stew. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they'd, yeah. they'd, they'd always serve it to me. And they'd go, "Are you sure you want to eat this? It's not stew. This is just dishwater." And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm like, I just want to try the local cuisine." And they yeah. go, "Okay, but that's not cuisine, and you really shouldn't eat that. It has chemicals in it." And then I would just eat the whole thing, and the whole time oh, okay. I'd be like, "Yeah, this is uh, awful." Okay, it just the, the whole process seems like nonsense to me. Like I, I don't even understand why you why you would develop an opinion about Ireland at all. Well, this I will experience. tell you this. Yeah. The Cliffs of Moher is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I remember that the women in Ireland, especially in Dublin, were gorgeous. Just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful women. Did you notice that when you went there? Uh, I I only have eyes for my wife. Hmm. uh, That's not true. It's not true for any human being. (laughs) You've just lied to everyone. Uh, but it's okay. You you lied to protect your relationship with your wife. Oh, so is that how you have to say your wife? Nope. That's just what I chose to do. Okay. Oh. I just like okay. to mix it up a little bit. All right. 
Yeah. Oh man, there's the music. Oh shoot, I wasn't oh. even done. I was going to talk about some really important. Anyway, uh, thank you so much okay. for listening to Two Guys Talking About Lettuce. lettuce. My name is I'm Greg Benson. My name lettuce. is Craig Benson. I'm talking oh, about it sure lettuce. Is. It sure is, Craig. I'm talking about lettuce. It sure I, I, is. I'm talking yeah. about lettuce. Mm. I'm talking about lettuce. Are we still I'm recording? No. We're not? Mm-mm, no, we stopped. But you, could, you never clicked. You could be you honest. You never clicked. Say the C word. Just whisper it. <laughs>